Kayimani ba jong Maria noi rap ki Kristan laim kra shilong sa chi sen kala dap da jing rehman se ma bau upper slick non chu ba u nong rak ti jong Vatican ha India Archbishop Leopoldo Rigirelli ulapun ko bor yo Archbishop Victor Lindo jong ka jalan yam ba shilong jong ka balang Catholic ha ka bala pen long ru ya ka mas pakhoi ha ka ne ki jing le niam u Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli ul ai ha Archbishop Victor Lindo da ka palium ka jan le ka bala than ker pang da gis du lang brot Yakani ka jain la idong nong ya lam bahak li do jong ka balang Catholic u Pope Francis. Kum ka jing pun ko bor yo Archbishop Victor Lingdo, bo un long un nong sharai jong ki Lingdo, ki riu niam bat ki para banget, hapo ka Archdiocese jong u. The priest, the high priest, and the king, our king, and you also are asked in representing Jesus Christ to preach the good news, the gospel, with in every condition, favorable or unfavorable, you really to have to preach, dear Bishop, entirely the good news of Jesus Christ. But you have also to imitate Jesus as the high priest, in celebrating faithfully the sacraments and in fostering prayers in the people of God. You remember that lex orandi is lex credendi. So how we, how we educate people to pray so we also are strengthening their faith in Jesus Christ, in our Lord. And you are also shepherd, imitating Jesus as our King. So you have to lead the people entrusted to your authority with compassion, understanding, but also firmness when is needed. So please, be, dear bishops, be a good priests, good preachers, and good leaders for your people. To the priests, I would say, first of all, we became priests, we are ordained to serve the people. Our motivation as priests is service. We are sent to our parishes, to our community, to serve them, not to rule them, to serve and not to be served. As priests, you are the first and the closest cooperators to your bishop. So you have to also be responsible. Responsibility is very much needed in the life of a priest. Responsibility in terms of pastoral work to take care of your people, of your community, but responsibility also to take care of the good of the church. Also in terms of financial resources. So I ask you to be always responsible, accountable, and in this way you are good cooperators with your priest. And then as a priest you have also to create, to promote unity among you. In the church there is no distinction for tribes, languages, castes. We are all together brothers and sisters in Christ. So as a clergy, as a united body, you have to be behind your bishop united. And to the religious, especially religious women here present, so numerous, that is a blessing that we have still so many vocations in, uh, in your uh, 
in this region in particular. So I want to say to you, you are consecrated people. And the consecration is a reminder for us, for all the people of God, in your choice of life, to be obedient, to be chaste, uh, to be poor, you remind us that all of us here on earth, we are pilgrims, and our real home is in heaven. So your choice is very important for uh, all the people of God here in Shillong and in the church. But you are called also to express the care of the church, especially towards the marginalized, the poor people. And as uh, uh, nuns, I would like that you have also the task to promote the dignity of the woman in society, giving them education, giving them also the sense of their uh, dignity as human being. And this is a very important uh, task, I would say, in the church today. But as consecrated people, you are also called to give a spirit, an example of spirit of sacrifice. Um, we are all human beings and we are all sinners. And our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross sacrificed himself for the reconciliation of the humanity, for the salvation of the humanity for the forgiveness from God of the humanity. So we need also this spirit of sacrifice, of expiation for the sin that are in the church and uh, in the world. And finally, to the lay people here present, we are at the beginning of this journey that we call the, the Synod. And in this spirit, specific or particular experience as a church, as a, a ecclesiastical community, we have, first of all, to uh, learn to listen one another. Listening is very important to create communion. And not only listening, but try to understand also the other, the other opinions. And with listening, we need also sharing. Sharing our concern, sharing also our support, our enthusiasm for the church. And finally, we have also to witness, witness of our faith in Jesus Christ. Pope Benedict XVI, um, stressed many times that as Catholics our missionary work is a missionary work for attraction not for imposing our faith but create in people that are not Christian an attraction towards our doctrine and our faith so your witnessing, your being good Catholics, good lay faithful, you create this attraction to the non-Christian. So please, in this period of synod, try to listen, to share, and to witness. Because this is a moment very special for the church, universal church, and in particular for Shillong. And now it is really with joy that I will extend to you, convey to you the apostolic blessing of our father, Pope Francis.